Hey everyone, it's Pirates Liker here, and uh, welcome to the, our next episode reaction, the next disc react. Um, and this is episode 22, Tragia, and this is like the first time where I haven't gotten any spoilers. So I have zero insight on what this episode's about. Now, as you can see, I'm in uh, the place where I watched Pinkie Pride and Billy Vanilla and whatever. It's not my room, but um, this is the last time that I'm going to be recording here for quite some time until like season five happens. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this spot while I can while doing a reaction. And um, I, I do want to give some news on some of my other episode reactions that I've already uploaded. Um, they were, they were finally found by Hasbro, <laughs> um, and they claim copyright on them. It took, it took Hasbro a while. Jeez, it's almost been the full season, and the only one that was detected before today was Rarity Takes Me and Had It. But now they've found pretty much most of them. There's like a, about five episodes that haven't been detected, like the three most recent ones in Simple Ways and... Another one. I don't really remember which one. Um, but yeah, I, I found that a little interesting. Um, I thought I was managing to get by pretty well. Um, but it still found me. Even with the, the screen being so small, <laughs> I, I thought that had to do with it. I thought that the screen was so small that they couldn't have possibly found it. But they, they found it. I don't know if it was... I, I think it was the visuals, not the audio. But, I mean, I could be wrong on that. Uh, anyway, uh, this is Trajia, and I want to get started because I have no idea when my parents are going to get home. Also, I can't exactly record in my room right now because my room's in that, a mess. We're in the middle of uh, cleaning it up, uh, cleaning my room because my sister started it. She was just like, I'm going to clean your room. <laughs> and she did, uh, for the most part. We're, I mean, there's, there's still a bunch of stuff lying around on the floor and stuff. You don't want to. You don't want to be in my room right now. I'm gonna have to take care of that later. But uh, yeah, I don't want to be in my room right now either. So I'm recording here, and uh, hopefully I can stay here. And also, um, for you, for your own entertainment, for my entertainment, I'm gonna squeeze in a casual, a casual react, a two minute react after this one, to Crown Prince's latest video that just came out. Pony, the new Pony High flip something I can't exactly see it because it's being blocked uh, by other windows that are open but anyway let's get started with the new episode <laughs> three two one play Trajia I wonder what this could be about best day ever, day ever. More princess stuff. This is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> More continuity, I guess. Continuity. Continuity, not continuity. Continuity. Yes, I can speak English. Yes, I can say a few big words. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is fun. I'm gonna miss doing these episode reactions when season 4 ends. Um, this is fun. This really is fun. Uh, I never imagined that I'd do this uh, when I was in the Brony community, but I just decided to do it one day after I did my regular reactions, and I enjoy these a lot. I'm, I have fun with this. Uh, oh my goodness! You said it! The Rainbow Falls Traders Exchange is simply divine! You can get anything you want! Trader Exchange. Even you got the goods to trade for it. <laughs> of course a pebble would stop Spike from something. Make him fall and whatever. One ding nicker debt. 
and this power pony's coming for and that seems to be like the only mud puddle <laughs> in the entire land that's crazy and now now twilight's a little <laughs> disagreements over whether a trade is fair or not and since the rule is that a trade is fair as long as both ponies get what they want there's never been a disagreement so there's really no reason never been a disagreement anything special well that's not happened in this episode Hi, can i help you she just wants to beat the princess autograph <laughs> there's a pony here who's got a signed first edition of daring you and the queen yeah that's why that you better get used to that i'm surprised i'm surprised this wasn't covered in the like, except in Twilight Time, but I hope, I hope this is handled a little better. Everybody's bartering. Right now, I'm hoping to get a vintage item as well. I just hope I brought enough to trade. I know what you mean, Rarity. Hey, why don't we pool our trade stashes? Pool? That way, if one of us finds something real valuable she can't live without, she'll definitely be able to get it. Who could say no to exchanging a single object for such a huge assortment? Of something items? tells me Applejack and Rarity are gonna want the same thing. So if they if they find the same vintage item and they're both interested in it, that's gonna be interesting, for sure. I, I'm very curious now. Princess Nest. I don't think that means I have to sit up there all alone doing nothing. Ever since I became a princess, Celestia has been sending me more books to read than ever. The library is overflowing, so I figured while we're here, read some of that. Or, or whatever she said. I'm guessing she's giving up books that she didn't need. The, the tough time with commentating is that sometimes you talk over what people say. She don't want it. Just a rusty old horseshoe. She's not. Uh, unless she can get me that. What? What? Or throws how cute. The pony running the ancient beast stall doesn't want anything I got. But if you can get me the Orthros, I'll trade you the book for it. Wait, was that was that Daring doing the Staffire Stone? Was I not listening? Was it like some special edition of it or something? I'm guessing it was a special edition Darren Do book. Okay. Okay. I am so glad I found you. Forget it, forget it. Move on. So this is the other problem. Okay, they don't want the same item. Actually, they would have been better off if they wanted the same item. Where? Right there. It's rusty. But that's a dented old pie tin. A dented vintage pie tin? The metal they used to fashion this one helps cook the pies up to five seconds faster. They don't make them like this anymore. Five seconds so faster. Glad you showed that to me, darling. Is Rarity's item just as useless? You won't want to waste our trade goods on that. <laughs> just look. It's one of a kind. It looks exactly like the one you're already wearing. It is just as useless. <laughs> wow. They're horrible <laughs> traders. One. 
<laughs> she don't know. She. Ha, you're bluffing. Am I? How can you tell? Well, because. Oh, she can't tell either. Because the one you want to waste your whole stash on is exactly the same as the one you already got. There's no way any pony would notice the difference. I'll say it's a lot more likely they noticed that than some dented tin that cooked a pie a whole two seconds faster. It's five seconds faster. Man, Rarity and Applejack are idiots this episode. <laughs> kind of like in simple ways. <laughs> it's okay though, it's enjoyable. Ah, more flourish and nurturing. Oh, let me guess, they're gonna... They're gonna search for pretty much everything. really do have everything at the Trader's Exchange. Will you trade a lamp for my horseshoe so I can trade... This is just like that Edda and Eddie episode! Do you remember that Edda and Eddie episode where they traded for something that... Yeah, they trade and they trade and they trade. This is exactly like that episode for those guys. Except there's other stuff going on. I got your blue hands. Wow. Okay, cool. So, will you trade one for a horseshoe so I can trade a They need to get Rolf's yo yo. <laughs> they need to get Rolf's yo yo. <laughs> oh, man. But I will trade for. Trade one of my chickens for a crystal chalice. Hang on a sec. We need a crystal chalice to trade for a chicken, to trade for a lamp, to trade for an orthros. So, what are you willing to trade for? I'm guessing it's gotta be some crazy thing way across the exchange. Actually, I could use a slightly rusty old horseshoe. Yeah, but where am I gonna find you? Wait! Rainbow Dash has one of those! Now that we've got the chalice, this is gonna be a cinch! Do you really think so? All we gotta do is bring this thing to the chicken stand, and we are... Wow! You want me to this episode surprises me. Broken. I thought they were just gonna keep on doing it for the whole episode, but that was creative. Okay, fine. That was clever. What are you doing? I was trying to Pinky's not gonna approve for the trade. For that? Do you really want that? Well, not really, but I'm running out of library space, so oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she wants to get rid of it. Pinky. And but she does want to get rid of the books. So loophole. <laughs> Pinky, stop being scary, jeez. Pinky's acting like she didn't feel even nilly. I mean. Not that extreme yet, but but she's getting close. She's <laughs> this is wow. I just hope it looks okay. That's not gonna look okay. He wanted to smash it. The broken chalice mosaic I'm making. All right, so what kind of antique chicken do you want? I got speckled brown, gray. Oh, no. I saw the chicken on. I saw the chicken somewhere. It wasn't on YouTube. I think I may, might have seen it on a YouTube thumbnail. No, she can't. You can't ask Fluttershy to stop someone for trading. He wants to get one. Wow! Fluttershy! You know, Rainbow Dash, that's your fault. 
Rainbow Dash. I'll stay here. Yeah. Look, yeah. Since yeah. we can't both get what we want, I will be the better friend. You take our trade goods and get what you want. I'm an amazing friend. So even though it's uh, for so long, uh, you know, you take oh no. Let me get what I want. What kind How of dare you let me get what I want? They're ridiculous. Applejack, Rarity, and Pinky are all ridiculous this episode. Where's the pony run in this joint? On break. Hey. What? Pinky's a liar now. She's a liar. That's it. Wow. Pinky. Just a moment, please. Pinky, I appreciate your help at all, but I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. No pony should trade for my books just because I'm a princess. I'm not better than any pony else. <laughs> You're not better than Wow! Jeez. I'm kind of getting mixed feelings on this episode. Just like Philly Vanilli. Look, I know it's your break and all, but you gotta open your stand so we can trade you for a lamp. He's hungry. Sorry, girls. Been trading all day. My belly's telling me it's time to eat an oat burger. Oh, come on. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. Sorry. Belly says no. That that face was perfect. No. That was, I'm sure I'll see quite a few gifts of that on Tumblr. <laughs> That's a great reaction image too. Jeez. They're cooking. Fast, speeding up the process. Next. 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 Oh, they got the Cerberus. Uh, not Cerberus. Whatever that thing is. I don't know that many mythical creatures. Oh, he's just an affectionate little two-headed fellow, aren't you, little boy? Ah oh, man. Now what? Is Fluttershy gonna get attached to the dog? That's the only other thing I can think of. <laughs> There's no on this. I am way too generous to let you outrun me like that. We gotta hurry. Ramadash, why don't you just fly and talk to her? Nope, can't have that happen. <laughs> because we need some reason to just fly. Just just fly. Just just fly and talk to her. Whoa. Now that was something. Oh no! Fluttershy's bear call! We gotta go! Of course, it's just a bear call. There's nothing I could have traded it for that's more valuable to me than you. <sighs> okay, the exchange is almost over. But we did it. We traded a crystal chalice for an antique chicken. And the chicken for a lamb. And the lamb for an orthodox. Just like you asked. <laughs> So here you go. Now, where's my book? Yeah, you know, the thing is, I don't want a Northros anymore. Uh, but what do we do now? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Good boy. Man. 
This episode just makes me feel sad now. I've been watching that thing over in the ancient beast booth. It's crazy. I don't want one in my house. Fear, fear. That's a good old house. You just have to know how to treat them. With a little patient training and a big slobber mop, they can be a wonderful household pet. Aww. Rainbow Dash. That is what you really want. So we got a fair deal? Of course it's a deal! Yeah! Ah, I did it! I did it! Fluttershy, can you believe it? She just traded off Fluttershy. Grace. Oh no! What did I do? Rainbow Dash, get back your bear call. Wow. 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 Fluttershy was just traded off. That came out of nowhere. That's hardcore. That's nuts. Well, we got one problem solved. Now we got two more problems to need what solving. You both have to say, and I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash, but my hooves are tied. You said it was a fair trade. Yeah, I said it, but I was wrong. I did want that book a lot. I said I wanted it more than anything in all of Equestria. But there's no thing that's worth as much to me as a friend. I might have forgotten that for a little bit, but it's true. Which means there's no way this trade can be fair. Oh, come on, that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Okay, the trade's off. <laughs> Two problems solved. Jeez, this episode's going by fast. I declare this trial and this year's Rainbow Falls Traders Exchange over. Looks like Applejack and Rarity are left with nothing. Spike got something though, so hey, props to Spike. That's a little nice addition. But I hope you like it. It's the rustiest piece of junk I could get. Well, I took my half of our stash and got you this. Hey, you know this episode's all right. This episode's all right. So that should settle it once and for all. Which of us is the better friend? Oh come on! You both gave up what you wanted to do something for each other. That's the coolest thing a friend. They're all there for each other. I know. It kind of lagged there a little bit. Um, like a split second. Oh come on! It lagged again. Ugh. Oh. There's nothing that I hate more than lagging. Well, what do you know? My copy of Daring and Two that's the why I, that's the reason why I download these episodes to prevent lag. One of a kind first I don't know why I <gasps> lag, but because I can read this one I think I'm gonna have to make an edit, an extra edit in there. Okay, it's towards the end. All right. This was a very interesting episode. This was a very interesting episode. It was pretty cool. Half human, all 
I have to admit, it was pretty cool. Like, yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool episode. I mean, not too much went on in it, but jeez. It reminded me a little bit of Castlemania, how they were all divided off into groups of two. I, I like that. And at the same time... <laughs> um, I don't know, they all had their own interesting conflicts and it definitely kept me engaged, even though they were like cycling between each other and stuff like that. <laughs> and I felt like Pinky and... Pinky was a little insane. She was. But she helped it out in the end, so I guess it's okay. And Applejack and Rarity. <laughs> that was a weird resolution. Um, not the biggest fan of the whole thing, and I don't think the resolution necessarily excuses their lack of sense. But it was still entertaining, I'll give it that. And... Um, I think, I definitely think the best part was uh, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. Uh, there were a lot of surprises that kept this uh, from being a predictable plot uh, for, the, for their conflict. So I thought it was interesting having different conflicts uh, spread out evenly throughout the episode. And not to mention Princess Twilight Fanatics. It's kind of cool to see that. Um, I hope it doesn't last. Like, I don't want to see it going on into Season 5 and Season 6 and whatnot, but that was interesting. That was definitely interesting right there. Um, where to put the episode? Well, I don't have my board with me where I list all the episodes. Um, but I do have an idea where I want to put it. I'm just gonna go on YouTube real quick. And then I'll tell you the spot I want to put it. I think I know where I want to put it. This one's a little easier for me to rank right now on first impressions than a lot of the up other episodes have been. And uh, also, after I rank this, then I'm going to load up uh, Crown Prince's latest video and we can watch that if you're still interested. Um, obviously, I don't force anyone to watch anything. You, know, you watch what you want. Um, yeah. Actually, my internet's a little slow right now, so I might not be able to do that. Oh, here we go. It's, yeah, it's, it's very slow for some reason. Um, so, uh, yeah, good thing I downloaded it, because we could have had a lot of buffering going on if I did that. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna load up where I ranked all those episodes, because, yeah, I'd say this is definitely in the upper half of the episodes, because it, it had that, it, it felt a lot like Castlemania, which I really enjoyed. I felt it was a very humorous episode, a very silly episode, but it still had some, it definitely some nice character development and, uh, emotional conflicts, like, strong emotional conflicts. I mean, Fluttershy was willing to move out of Ponyville for Rainbow Dash to just to get a book. She would go a mile for her friends. Fluttershy is an amazing friend for being willing to even consider that. And, like, she almost... Like, she would have went through with that. That's... That's insane. Like, she would have left behind her cottage and her animals? Who would have taken care of them? Like, honestly, that's pretty stupid, but... Brave. Wow. Okay, you know what? Uh, the episode's not loading for me, but I can barely see it. Um... Okay. I am going to place it right below Philly Vanilli. I think Power Ponies is after that, or it could be Rainbow Falls. Um, 
I don't know where it is, but I will have the list for you. I'm not going to say out the episodes like I normally do um, this time, but definitely, uh, that was definitely an interesting episode for sure. And uh, this time, right now, I'm just going to list where I put the episodes so you can read it at least. Okay. I think that's good enough. Um, so yeah, and now let's just uh, you know watch something that has l much less meaning and is purely for our entertainment. Um, I'd like to thank Crown Prince once again for making my that uh, picture of me. It's very very impressive. Okay, um, let's go back now. Okay, so uh, yeah. Uh, huge props to Crown Prince for making that picture that's not my profile picture. I love her a lot. She's a fantastic animator, and I wish the best for her. She's amazing. She's one of my favorite people. Okay. Um, anyway, let's get started. Three, two, one, play. Man, it's hot. I think I'll pour this sports drink all over myself. <laughs> Why you? I won! And I didn't even scuff my loafers! Oh my god! We just won a cross-country duel meet! Let's destroy property to show how much we appreciate the team! Because that's a great thing to do. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> wow, I could not have chosen a better video. This is perfect! This is one of the best things she's ever done! A total freak out. That riot was unacceptable. Jeez. Unacceptable? Did you see the pool? They flipped the bitch! Principal Scudworth, they if you were running the, the school properly, there would be no riots. Only clone soldiers trained for superior intellectual and physical combat. Little do they know, I have my own plans for these clones. Plans that don't involve these shadowy figures at all. <laughs> You're talking in a normal indoor speaking voice. <laughs> so I am. Little do they know, I have my own plans. Scudworth! We're walking on thin ice, man. I think this is an issue we should talk about in person. <laughs> Maybe we could have dinner. Perhaps the other garden. It's like eating in the private kitchen of a delightful Italian stereotype. We were thinking somewhere more intimate. Your house, next Friday. No dairy. Please. Damn it! I haven't been to the Olive Garden in like forever! <laughs> Little Rainbow Rocks music right there. Okay. <laughs> Huge fan of Crown Prince's stuff, man. You did good. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was funny. I've never watched Clone High. But I love that. That's amazing. That really got me in a good mood. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 That was something. Ah. Oh. Man. It's moments like that where you... This is, this is what I love about doing reaction videos. I get to share my experiences with you guys. I, I get to remember these experiences I've had. And I get to live in the moment. I get to escape for a few minutes and just, you know, forget about all my worries and every, everything that I have to deal with and just enjoy myself. Today, we, uh, we got Chinese food and we had fortune cookies and I opened up and my fortune cookies said go for it, live for now 
And I do think that's something that I need to value. And I value doing this right now. You guys, like, I, you guys, like, I personally myself can't watch um, episode reactions that often. I, I can't stand to watch episodes that much. It's too long. It's too long, it takes up too much time. But, uh, like, I, I prefer the shorter stuff, but I definitely appreciate that you guys watch my content and enjoy it. I mean, I hit 750 subs recently. That's, that's more than I ever thought I would. And, uh, yeah. Um, I, I do have plans on basically replacing these commentaries with uh, something else. Uh, I'm not going to re... I don't plan on rewatching old episodes, but I am thinking about watching some series that uh, I'm thinking like maybe a pl replacing this with a bridge series after season four ends. I think that might be a good idea. So anyway, um, yeah, this was a, this was a pretty fun episode. Uh, nothing that out there except for of course uh, Fluttershy <laughs> willing to trade herself off. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, but definitely, that was, <laughs> that was interesting. And I think everybody except Pinky learned something. <laughs> I don't really think Pinky learned anything that episode. I think, I think she got lucky that Twilight, um, changed her mind about giving out the books. So yeah. Um, thanks you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs> and uh, if you want me to watch like another video at the end of uh, the episode reaction, feel free to. I, I, I just felt like experimenting a little. I like experimenting. Um, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>